Adido, K10 News. And yesterday, it has been one year around the sun with President William Ruto as the Commander-in-Chief of the Republic of Kenya. How do you feel about it? How has he performed so far? Talk to us on our social media pages and uh, we shall be sampling some of your responses. But now, let's get into what's trending. Now, it has been a busy day yesterday and yeah, Mambo ni matatu. But let's just start with the first issue. There's a person called Wanjiku. Kenyans are also called Wanjiku. But Roy Kanye joins me in studio to just give sense and make sense of this person called Wanjiku. Roy, who's Wanjiku? Yes, first of all, how are you, Dennis? Fitty, oh. I'm good. Nice. So, Wanjiku, okay, it's a name that hails from the Mount Kenya region, and generally, Kenyans are known as Wanjiku, or the common Wananchi. So, on X, formerly Twitter, there was this account with the name Wanjiku HSC. Uh, by default, everyone assumed that that account is owned by, let's say, a lady, because even the profile picture was one of a woman. So, Wanjiku had been arrested, he is at Motaiga police station, and uh, what was interesting was a screenshot that was shared where somebody asked, um, umebukiwa na ubi number gani? I can't seem to find your name. Then he had to disclose uh, his actual government name, that is uh, Sylvans Abeta. So, Abeta, kumbe si wanjiko. Anyway, I hope he's having a better time at Motaiga. So now, while he was being arrested, was it to be taken to the police female side or male side? Okay. Uh, the, <laughs> the reason why uh, he was arrested, it's allegation not yet confirmed. It was because uh, he had Aliongelele, uh, deputy president, uh, Vibaya. It has not yet been confirmed. These are just allegations on the internet. Ah, okay. So now let's move swiftly. Now, yesterday, big announcement in the tech space iPhone 15 has just been launched and uh, with that there are two things that are new, the Type-C charger and the fact that it's now coated in titanium. According to you, what is new apart from these two things? Do we have a better camera? Do we have a faster processor? Uh, well, uh, the Apple way, they announced the iPhone 15 lineup and the Apple Series 9 watches. Well, the new thing that everybody had been anticipating or with the leaks that had been going on, that USB Type-C is going to launch on uh, Apple products. Well, they've been using USB Type-C on their other products, that's the MacBook, and, uh, but it has been absent on the iPhone. The reason why they had to change to USB Type-C was because they had to comply with the EU regulations that so that all devices need to have one type of charger to reduce the environmental impact. Ndiyo usikuwe na one type of charger to charge your phone, one type of charger to charge your maybe speaker, laptop, and the rest. So they had to make sure that there's only one type of charger to be used, that is USB Type-C, and now Apple had to comply. Other than that, the Apple way, they had to say everything is better, the camera is better uh, than the previous year, but uh, we're waiting for the YouTubers to now start testing them out to when come ni hearsay from Apple or it's the actual truth. Well, other than that, it's now uh, with a new titanium uh, case or cover. Uh, previously, they used uh, aluminum and previously they used steel, stainless steel. Uh, with titanium, they say it's going to be lighter and uh, not heavy uh, while you're touching it. Well, uh, other than that, the processor has been improved. They're using the a17 bionic chip we're still waiting to see all this the announcement was made yesterday at 8 1 p.m by the ceo tim cook uh, you see can you for a very long time um if you are looking for a charger and you're just asking for ukona charger no not to me an iphone so right now moving forward will it mean that uh, people just get to share um well iphone had to make it their own they're saying that their usb type c can transfer speeds of, of up to 10 gigabits well but uh, we're still waiting to see if uh, the same android charger let's call it that can actually charge an iphone but in all cases time will tell yes yeah. and now then again yesterday big news but now this is on the google platform just what happened to andrew kibe i think uh, is youtube no longer exist why so Yes, yes. Andrew Kibe, a media personality in Kenya with his controversial uh, conversations or topics, um, lost his 
YouTube account. Um, well, the reason why he lost his YouTube account is not yet clear, but there are speculations on the internet with blogger Edgar Barre uh, stamping his chest and saying that he is the reason why uh, Andrew Kibe's account was terminated or banned. And this is not the first time that uh, Andrew Kibe's account has been banned. Uh, previously, it had been suspended for a week, uh, but he, he regained it. Now, the account is gone. But on the internet, people are blaming either Edgar Obare or the person in charge of Google, East Africa. But Bado Hatujajua, reason ya account yake kuwa terminated, ilikuwa gani. But anyway, there are also various reasons why someone can lose access to their YouTube account. That is, if you go against the community guidelines, you post explicit content on YouTube, or you multiply violate the guidelines that have been stipulated by Google, which owns YouTube. So for Andrew Kibe, we don't know kama ali go against those community guidelines violations, ama tu ni mtu tuali mfungi account, of which I think maybe he did go against the community guidelines. Now, can you, if I'm just to ask, uh, is there room for him to appeal this decision that he can regain this uh, YouTube page back? Yes, there is room to appeal uh, a decision. I will give an example with myself. My account had been banned previously. I had to talk to the people who work at the platform and they regained my account. What did you do? But for my case, it was a technical error on their side, in all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Andrew Kibe has the chance to actually appeal. He might get his account or he just needs to start afresh. But he has urged his uh, followers to follow him on his other social media platforms, that is X, Instagram, Rumble, and um, TikTok. Well, there is another social media page called Rumble. Let's see how rambly that is going to get with uh, Andrew Kibe. Roy Kanye, Asante Sana for joining us here as you gave us what is trending on this side of the Sahara. But now, let's take a short commercial break. We'll be right back.